Hello, my name is Michael. So you know these days rain, thunderstorms have come. And you know what rainstorms comes with? Flood. So after all that, I'm gonna make a project called the flood alarm. So it's it's an alarm that shows like where the flood have gone, like how high it is. So now let's see how to make it and the ingredients. Let's go. I'm gonna show you the ingredients. So right here. So first thing first, we got a styrofoam with two holes in it for the wire to get in. And here we got a wire. I think I just said. And then a wire made out of copper, copper wire. And we got a wire, copper wire also, two of them. It's been cut. And now here we got the pliers for the copper wire to bend. And wire. And we got here uh, the battery with nine volts and with the attachment in it. So and here we got another one called buzzer, the active one. And here we got a glue, a strong glue, any strong glue. I'm using this one. So and here we got a, a pipe with one hole in it right here. And then here we got a big bowl. And then we got a jug of full of water. And we're gonna fill this up until it's full. So then we'll do the test. So now You're gonna need to prepare your styrofoam with two holes and then some wire and your copper wire. So now let's see our first step. So first step is to bend your your wire like a U shape like this. Make sure it fits inside this hole, the holes on the styrofoam. And then make sure the, the styrofoam can move up or down with a little force, like with water, it will float up. Okay, so that's done. Now we're gonna move on to the copper wire. So all you need to do is spin the, make the, make like a spiral of the copper wire. All right. So here we got the spiral of the copper wire. So you need to like make it bend it down, something like this. So it's down here. One is going down. So it can attach to this. I mean, you can use the glue if you want, but no matter, nothing matters, so yeah. So you can just put it down here, attach it to the styrofoam, and then here, you put it in. The, the wire before that you make, the U-shaped one. So, so far you got this, and then we're gonna go to the next step. So first thing first, the next, the next step is to get your battery. an active buzzer and your glue. So now let's see how to make it. So first, uh, you need your pipe and your buzzer. So you need to do is put the wires in, but make the red wire go out from the hole that, the, that you make. It's like that. And then the, the black one is right here. So the, the red cable is right there. Now I'm gonna glue this I'm gonna glue the, the buzzer with the pipe. So here I got it done. The, it's sticked already. So next thing is you need your battery. And then you got the two wires. Remember you need this. And then you need to stick it right here. And then make sure the black wire goes inside. And then it will go out this, this here. So it's the same with this wire and that wire. Okay, and then you just, we just need to stick it, and now I'm gonna try to stick it. So here I got my battery uh, attached to the pipe, and of course the two wires right here, the two red wires and out, and two black wires inside here. So you want to do now is uh, attach the two red wires now. Like this. You just touch it. Just like that. Now you have something that looks like this. Which make us go to the, to the next part. So let's go. Next step is you need to prepare your pliers and your glue. 
glue and the two, the two, the two of this copper wires and your lid. I forgot to tell you that you need a lid, so yeah, get the lid. You make a hole in it. So, so now we need you need to prepare your your lid, any lid, and you need to make two holes actually this just don't mind this middle hole you just need these two holes and then you need to prepare pliers for to bend this now you need to bend you need to follow my steps so you need to bend it like this so now you have something look like this and then now you need to bend this again like this to the right So now you have something that looks like this. Make this like straight with the line. This. So, so you might have something that looks like this. Okay, so now you need uh, to make this the edge of the part. The, the other edge, not this, but this. This the other edge that there's nothing yet to do for. And then you just bend it like this, bend it until you have something that will look like like this, but you need to close it now. Like this, you need to have something that look like this. And then you just did this to the other one. So now here I've done it to the other one. Here so no, we got two of these. We got the one with the holes and the one with the curve in the in the end. So now you need to put you need to put these on like on each holes on the left and right holes. So it's like this and like this. So it's gonna be like this. So now I'm gonna glue it to here. So now I'm gonna glue this, glue these to here. So after that you might have something that looks like this. So it's now like, like this. Make sure these doesn't touch because it's gonna touch the copper wire on the other project. Now here, we got like this. Okay, so now all you need to do is just attach these black wires to this wire. All you need to do is just attach it. It's pretty hard because I need to see it clearly. Well, I got it in. Now I just need to spin it so it's hard. So now you might have something that looks like this. It's both attached here. So all you need to do now is just put it in and then and then you just close it with the lid. So now you might have something that looks like this with the glue in it. So now all you need to do is just uh, st stick this part, this metal right here, to to here, to here. So now I'm gonna stick it. You have this sticked right here on the pipe. So now it's gonna be like this. You ha you might have something that looks like this. All right. So now we're gonna take the, our bowl and then the cup of jar. And now I'm gonna put the project above right here. So so the styrofoam floats right as you can see. Now I'm gonna fill the bowl with the water. Let's see if it's alarm. So now you see that the alarm turns on because the the copper wire in the styrofoam and the copper wire that in here meets and it and it attracts the alarm in the back right here. In the back right here. So this this styrofoam and this this copper wire and this copper wire it will attack it will make this this buzzer turn on because when when this touches this the copper wire will trans transfer its energy to the other copper wire and then it will turn on this buzzer so so this this project right here it can help people to know if it's flooding or no. So basically, here uh, the this battery is connected to a wire that connects to this copper wire, both of these. So if both of these didn't touch, it will not 
because it will not turn on the buzzer. So here, if I do this, it will turn on. And same thing, if there's if there's a copper wire in, this, in the styrofoam and it will go up, it can turn on the buzzer because the energy from the yard buzzer and then will go to the bus will go to the energy from the copper wire. The other copper wire will go to the copper wire and, and the styrofoam. And the styrofoam, the copper wire and the styrofoam will, will transfer the energy to the other copper wire. So it will so it will transfer it and it 